Hi, Mark here at RTX, and I'm, who, who, who are you? I'm um, Lindsay Jones, hi. Hi. Um, I totally missed your name too, what was it? Sorry. It's, it's Mark. Mark. Okay. Yeah. Hi. Um, hi, Mark. You're, you. you're really pretty. Oh, you know. thanks. Uh, you're, you're there. Thank you. Okay. Um, are, are you married? Uh, legally, I'm obligated to say yes. Okay. So. How, how about yes. illegally? If you find me in Mexico, call me. I feel like it's okay then, you know, Wh borders and whatnot. What about like, um, I, I kind of look Mexican. Yeah. I, I'm not legally though. Oh. Well. I, I guess technically I'm I'm American, but I I could pass for Mexican. Yeah, it's cool. I'm I look female. Legally, I'm not though. Oh. So I feel like we're on the same page there. Okay. But we could maybe make it work. Okay. Yeah. Um, Call my people mostly, yeah, because okay. um, they know better than I do. So it's sneezing. Yeah, <laughs> I'm. We're like trying to talk here. I mean, yeah, that's that's really I awkward. Apologize for that. No, that's okay. I don't know him, but if I did, I probably would stop being friends with him immediately. I'll probably get beat up by him right after this. I'll watch. I'll. I'll will you? Yeah. <laughs> okay. That's that's so nice of you. Is it? Yeah. Well. well it's. Kind of, I guess. I wish this interview was nice. But we can't I'm all get what we want. I'm trying my best. Oh. Okay. That's um, good. So Do let's you want a gold star? Or? You know, I had plenty of those growing up. They didn't help at all gotcha. with my self-esteem. Mm. I'm wearing a tie. What do you think of it? It's. It looks like an M.C. Escher painting. Um, it probably something is. It's nice. It's good. What? What do you do for Some classiness? I, I don't even know who you are. Oh, yeah. Um, I do voices for people, uh, usually fictional characters. Sometimes I like to voice real characters, but then the people who are actually those characters get mad. So I, I try to stay away from that and the lawsuit that usually inevitably follows. You, you so. know who my favorite person to, to, to uh, imitate is? No. Um, who? He's, he's this guy. Um, he says... Uh, Dirt bags. Hmm. You know that guy? Bernie? Sounds like something he'd say. Or my boss, Jeff. Jeff likes to yell a lot. Does he? Yeah. He's pretty rambunctious boss. Is it's a little intimidating sometimes. Um it's probably the mustache factor. He's he's the one with all the tattoos, right? Yeah, yeah. That's okay. that's also part of the intimidation factor is the tattoos. In fact sometimes I stare just at them. I don't really look at his face because if you make eye contact, you get like you know, you can kind of feel like you're being judged at that moment. Uh -huh. So I usually try and look down. I'll pick a panel on the floor to focus on when I'm speaking to Jeff about, you know, like my performance reviews or, you know, my state of depression while I'm working in his branch of the company. Um, that's that's like the same strategy I use when I'm like confronted with like a silverback gorilla. Yeah, basically. Sometimes Jeff will pound his chest too and then I have to walk away. Can, can you show us like how he pounds his chest? That's that's not very intimidating. That's why I don't do it. That's why Jeff does it. Oh. Yeah. That's how he established dominance. I tried to do that back to him. It just didn't work. The entire rest of the gorillas laughed at me. I Is it a troop? Troop of gorillas. I, the I troop of achievement hunters laughed at me. I usually when I try to establish dominance, I like try to like mount them, but yeah. that never works. It's a dangerous one too. It's a dangerous game mounting. It can backfire immediately. I know too well. I think it's worked Don't like... Don't your friends, also, no. as we've learned. I especially in verses. Especially if you're playing Jack. Don't mount Jack. Um, who no coming back from that. Who's Jack? A nightmare that I still live with on a daily basis.